Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about a very important group of the antifungal medications. So medications are the ones that end with the suffix azole. Pretty convenient for memorization. They work by inhibiting cytochrome P450, which is an essential enzyme for the synthesis of the fungal wall. Now, indications are the most important parts. Now, they're all antifungal, so they're all used to treat fungal infections. But certain medications work best for certain infections. For example, fluconazole works best for CNS infections. So remember, fluco flows into the CNS. Clotrimazole is used for cutaneous infections. Voriconazole is for invasive asparagal losses. And it causes visual disturbance. Proscanazole is the most important one, and it's used for prophylaxis of aspergillosis and candida in immunocompromised patients. Remember that it causes a decrease in potassium levels and platelet count. The most important side effect of azoles is decreased testosterone levels, which result in liver dysfunction and gynecomastia. And here's a small quiz for you. So which of the following medications is contraindicated with azoles? The answer is warfarin, because warfarin is metabolized by cytochrome P450, which is inhibited by azoles. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys later.